Welcome back to another show of golf tips. I'm your host and teaching professional, Gary Bauer. On today's show, we'll visit Wendy Knoll Golf Club, a beautiful course to play in Springfield, Ohio. Thanks for watching, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Now at this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Tom Kreitz, the Director of Golf here at Wendy Knoll Golf Club. Hi Tom. Hi Gary. So tell us a little bit about Wendy Knoll. Well, Wendy Knoll is a 18 hole facility, link style golf course, bent grass tee to greens. Uh, the black tees will stretch out to about 7,000 yards. And our amateurs, we've got tees about 5,500 yards. Uh, always in great shape, always open to the public, uh, so come out anytime. So it's a good test of golf then? It is. Uh, it, it, can, it can reach out and bite you, as I like mm -hmm. to say sometimes, yeah. What about leagues? Leagues, we have them Monday through Friday, always accepting new. Um, contact me at the Pro Shop, 390-8898. Okay, and outings? Outings, we do a bunch of them, uh, be it corporate or uh, charity event. Uh, same thing, contact me, 937-390-8898. And wedding receptions here? Wedding receptions, we do a lot of them. Uh, my food and beverage manager, Sue Avery, is wonderful to work with. Uh, her contact number is 937-926-0178. Give her a ring and uh, she'll take care of you. And tell us a little bit about that restaurant. The restaurant, the Stables restaurant. Nice open restaurant. To, yes, open to the public, great food. Uh, hours of operation are Tuesday through Saturday from three to 11. Reservations can be made at 937-390-6608. Fantastic, Tom, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Gary, have a great Thanks. day. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Thanks for watching. Now in this first segment of today's show, I'm gonna hit my driver and I'm gonna hit what's called a controlled fade. It's not a hard shot. I've covered it on a previous show, but I'm gonna cover it again. It's a shot that hopefully you can get it out there, keep it in play without going out of bounds. But I'm gonna show you how to hit that shot, a controlled fade. So I've got my driver, ball position. Where do you line the ball up at when you're hitting your driver, your woods? You position the ball off the inside of your left heel. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. So I'm gonna tee it up here and play the ball off my inside left heel. One more thing, proper tee height, you want half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. So you don't want to tee it up extremely low, yet extremely high. So half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. Ball position, me being a right-handed golfer, off the inside left heel. Balance, my feet should be shoulder width. Hands, where are my hands positioned at? My hands are positioned underneath my chin. So if my hands are under my chin and the club heads and back the ball, I have the proper distance from the golf ball. So I've set up. Now there's two ways that you can hit a controlled fade. First way is you can take your right hand and slightly move it over the top. Again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. So you can move your right hand a little bit over the top or you can do what I like to do. And that is on the downswing, I will lean a little bit. If I lean out a little bit, sway that will slightly open the club face and my ball will go out there and fade off. So you just wanna lean just a little bit. So that's the way that I prefer. So again, I have my driver, ball positioned off the inside left heel. My feet will be shoulder width for balance. My hands will be under my chin. That gives me the proper distance from the golf ball. Take a few practice swings and I'm gonna lean out. And that ball will go out there and tail off to the right a little bit. So I set up, feet are shoulder width, hands are under my chin, ball position left heel. And there we go. Perfect. And that ball went out there and just tailed. Okay? Let's hit some more here. So I have my T height, half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face, ball position left heel. And on the downswing, I want to just lean a little bit. That slightly opens the club face, and you can see how it will open, and that ball will go out there and tail off. The set up, hands are under my chin, gives me the proper distance from the golf ball. There we go. Perfect. All right, sit some more here. Now 
And it's not a hard shot, it just takes a little bit of practice. Again, if I move my right hand over the top a little bit, that will cause me to come through with a little bit more of an open club face also and push it or fade it a little bit to the right uh, also. But I prefer to just sway out, just to lean a little bit to slightly open the club face and keep it in that fairway. So I'm aiming down the left-hand side. And there we go. Fades right off. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my right hand over the top just a little bit and I should get the same results. A little fade. So I move my right hand over a little bit. There it goes. Fades right off to the right. All right, let's try another one. That right hand over. Real good. Okay, good. All right, set a few more here. And if you're out there on the golf course, what you want to do is you want to set up on the right hand side of the tee box, if you're a right handed golfer, you aim down the left hand side of the fairway. Use that fairway to your advantage. Fade the ball back around into the fairway. Now I'm going to go ahead and sway out on the downswing on these next shots. See how I'm leaning my hip out? And that's going to open the club face. We'll hit it over to the right, fade it off. There we go. See how I leaned out? Perfect. All right, let's hit one more here. And again, this is called a control fade. I'm gonna aim down the left-hand side here at this very nice practice facility here at Wendy Knoll Golf Club in Springfield, Ohio. Down the left-hand side, let it fade off to the right. Lean my left hip out a little bit on the downswing. Perfect. Here we go. Real good. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Hey, thanks for watching. Now in this next segment of today's show, I'm gonna hit what's called a draw, a right to left shot. Now if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. So we're gonna make this ball go out there, me being a right-handed golfer, and now draw, hit a draw from right to left, and I'll show you how to do it. So again, tee height, how high do you tee the ball? You want half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. Never tee it up extremely high, never tee it up extremely low. Ball position off the inside left heel if you're a right-handed golfer. Left-handed golfer is just the opposite. Balance, your feet should be shoulder width for balance, distance from the golf ball. Your hands should be underneath your chin, club head and back the ball, and that gives you the proper distance from the golf ball. Okay, let's tee it up here. Now, how do we hit a draw? And remember, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite. I'm gonna play the ball off the left heel, but I'm gonna have my left foot up and my right foot back about an inch. And I'm also gonna take my right foot and flare it out just a little bit. So I got my right foot up, my left foot back. So in other words, my feet aren't squared apart. They aren't squared up. Left foot up, right foot back. Also, when I bring the club back on the takeaway, I'm gonna bring the club a little bit more on the inside path and come around. And that should make the ball flight go out and draw back from right to left, all right? Let's take some practice swings. OK, 
Okay, let's see what we can do here. Set up. Got the ball position left heel. That's with all my woods. My left foot's up, my right foot's back. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's hit some more here. So when I set up to hit this shot, I want to aim down the right-hand side of the fairway because I'm going to make that ball go right to left when I'm out there playing, when you hit this draw. So I got my left foot up, my right foot back about an inch. I'm going to bring the club head a little bit back on the inside path and come right on around into it to make that ball draw from right to left. And there we go. Good shot. Again, let's hit some more. So I got my T height, ball position, left heel, left foot up, right foot back about an inch. I'm going to bring the club head on an inside path, a little bit on the takeaway, come right around into it. And the hands face around by my left shoulder, left ear. Perfect. There we go. All right, let's hit some more. And balance is a key. If you watch me, you see I'm not swaying back and forth, leaning into the ball now, I'm turning through it more, transferring my weight to the left side. With that sway, that controlled fade, I leaned out. This I'm turning more, I'm clearing my left hip out. My left foot up, right foot back, bring the club a little bit on the inside path. Perfect. Pretty long there. Okay. Let's have a good turn into it, transferring my weight to my left side, the left foot back, hands right under my chin. Good. All right, out there. And this is how you hit the draw. Ball position, left heel, feet shoulder width for balance. Got my left foot up a little bit, my right foot back about an inch, so my feet aren't squared up. Let's hit one more here. Bring the club on an inside path. Hands face around by my left shoulder, left ear for a good weight transfer. Perfect. There we go. Here's that draw. We'll be right back with more golf tips. If you'd like to be a guest on my show, simply give me a call at area code 614-527-9527. That's area code 614-527-9527. Welcome back. Now, on this third segment of today's show, I'm going to hit a three wood, but we're going to hit the three wood off the grass. A lot of people, they get out on the golf course, they say, oh man, I can't hit this three wood. I can't get it in the air. It's not hard. It's, it's just keeping your shoulders level through impact, letting that club head do all the work, 
and getting that ball out there. A lot of people, when they come through the shot, they want to pull the left shoulder up, which pulls the left arm up, which pulls the hand up, pulls the club up, and they're going to top it or hit it low. The majority of all golfers top the ball. Why? Because they want to help the ball up in the air. When you're hitting it off the turf, just keep your shoulders level. Get a good turn. Just come right on around into it. Let the club head do all the work. So again, I've got a three wood. You play the ball, again, with all your woods off the inside left heel. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. Feet are still shoulder width for balance. Hands are below my chin, club head and back the ball. That gives me the proper distance from the golf ball. That's how you determine how far to stand from the golf ball. So let's take some practice swings here. Got my three wood, gonna hit it off the grass. Keep my shoulders level. My hands should come around by my left shoulder, left ear. Arms and turn. That's all we're doing, arms, turn. So I set up, feet shoulder width, hands are under my chin. Ball position, left heel. There we go. I made sure I nicked the grass. I stayed down. Hands finished around, okay? If I pull my left shoulder up, I'm gonna top it though. That pulls my left arm up, pulls the club up, and we hit on top of the ball. Just turn through the shot. Arms and turn. Set up, feet shoulder width, ball positions there. Picked it right off, there we go. Good shot. But again, why do people top it? On the downswing, they pull their left shoulder up. Now I'm gonna show you why we top it. I'm gonna pull my left shoulder up and I'm gonna top this ball. It's gonna be a bad shot. Here's what I see with a lot of my students when they top the ball. This is what they're doing. There we go. We just barely nicked the ball and it goes nowhere. Keep the shoulders level. Try to brush the grass under the ball. Let that club head do all the work for you. So let's keep the shoulders level on this shot and just get a good turn. Set up, ball position there. There we go. Perfect. Good. So it's some more. The key is balance. As you can see, my right knee turns it by my left knee. My hands finish around by my left shoulder, left ear for a good weight transfer. If I finish up high, I'm going to probably top the ball also. See so that practice swing, gonna nick the grass and come right on around. Perfect. There we go. Let's hit some more. It's not a hard shot, you just gotta keep your shoulders level. It's just to turn through it. Majority of all golfers, they top the ball. They want to help that ball up. Shoulders level and turn. So I'm going to play that ball with my left heel. Again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite. The ball position for me, left heel, feet shoulder width, hands are under my chin, arms and turn. Perfect. Real good. Balance is a key. So during the, the golf swing here, you don't see me line dancing or clogging, I'm keeping my balance. Got the three wood, ball position left heel, arms and turn. Here we go. All right.
perfect. Straight on out. All right, set a few more here. So hands are under my chin, ball position, left heel, arms and turn. Hands face around by my left shoulder, left ear. There we go. Straight as straight can be. All right, one more. Ball position, left heel. You don't want to play it off the middle or center with your woods. Forward in your stance. Good shot here. Perfect. Straight. Here we go. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. Now on this last segment of today's show, I'm gonna hit a five wood off the grass. Again, it's not a hard shot. Even though the ball's laying on the grass, if you just brush the grass under the ball, you're gonna get the ball in the air. So now I've got my five wood. Ball position, inside left heel. Feet are shoulder width for balance. Distance from the golf ball. My hands will be under my chin, club head and back the ball. That gives me the proper distance from the golf ball. Not a hard shot. Again, take practice swings and try to brush the grass. If you nick the grass, chances are you're gonna get up underneath the golf ball and get the ball in the air. If you take practice swings and pull your left shoulder up, you're gonna to top it and it's not gonna go anywhere at all. So keep your shoulders level, hands finished around by my left shoulder, left ear, and I have a good weight transfer to my left side. Again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. So ball position, left heel, I got my five wood, hands are under my chin, it's just arms and turn. There we go. A little bit of a draw on that one, it's pretty nice. Hmm. Balance is crucial. We don't sway back and forth during the golf swing. Try to stay steady. You turn, you pivot, you transfer your weight to your left side. Some practice swings and just brush that old grass. There's a T drill. For people to top the ball, take a T and you put it in the ground about a half inch out of the ground. Take practice swings with your wood or your iron and try to knock the tee out of the ground 20 times a row. Again, you only have the tee about a half inch out of the ground. If you swing and miss, let's say on number 17, you gotta start back over at number one. Keep your shoulders level, shoulders turn. So I got my five wood, ball position, left heel, feet are shoulder width for balance, hands are under my chin, and I swing easy and a good turn. And there we go. Right knee up by left knee, good weight transfer. Setup is there. Hands are below my chin. Feet are squared up. There we go. So then nick that grass, club head gets up underneath the ball and we get it airborne. So again, I have my five wood, take some practice swings and brush that old grass. Hands face around by your left shoulder or left ear, right knee turns up by left knee. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Again, a lot of people they get psyched out. They they know their ball's sitting on the grass. They think, oh my gosh, I've got to get this ball in the air. Well, they think themselves out of the shot before they even hit it. They they come down. They take practice swings and pull that left shoulder up. They they're going to top the ball. Keep those shoulders level.
Perfect. There's my balance. Good turn. Five Woods is one of my favorite clubs. Perfect. Here we go. Sometimes I'll use this five wood more than what I'll hit my three wood on a second shot to a par five. I just like this club. Practice swing. Snick that old grass. Got to turn into it. Straight on that one, a little thin. That could have went a little bit higher. My left shoulder did come up a little bit on that one. Shoulder's a little bit more level. It's ball position left heel and a good turn. That's perfect. It's a good shot. Real good. Balance is a key. Balance is a key. You don't see me swaying, rocking back and forth. I'm turning through the shot. Right knee up by left knee. Good turn. Excellent. All right. Okay, let's hit one more. Arms and turn. Hands face around by my left shoulder, left ear. Straight as straight can be. Here we go. Not bad. Good swing, good turn, good weight transfer. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Well, that concludes today's show. I'd like to thank Mr. Tom Christ, the director of golf here at Wendy Knoll Golf Club, a beautiful course to play here in Springfield, Ohio. I'd like to thank you for watching and join me next time on Golf Tips with Teaching Professional Gary Bauer.